Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to show you four small Foundry VTT modules that will significantly improve your player and Game Master experience in your campaign. The first Foundry VTT module worth considering is the Resources Plus module. Resources Plus allows you to have up to 20 resource fields on actor sheets. These resources have the same functionality as the default resources. The max slash shown amount can be set globally in the settings or locally on the sheet itself. This is very useful for game masters and players because it allows you to track sorcery points or key points or fighter superiority dice or reputation with factions. This is a very versatile and helpful tool. The next module is a great quality of life module that eliminates the need to measure distances for movement. This drag ruler module shows a ruler when you drag a token or measurement template to inform you how far you've dragged it from its start point. Additionally, if you're using a grid, the spaces the token will travel through will be colored depending on your token's speed. By default, three colors are being used. Green for spaces that your token can reach by walking normally. A colored green, spaces that can only be reached by dashing will be colored yellow, and spaces that cannot be reached with the token speed will be colored red. If you're using a gridless map, the ruler color will change to convey this information. In summary, the drag ruler module makes movement easy by color coding how far you can go and displaying the total move distance. Moving on to the chat images module, this helpful tool gives support for images in the chat. Copy and paste, drag and drop, and links are automatically converted to images. For players and game masters that like communicating with images, this module has you covered. Last but not least is the Easy Polls module, which enables the Game Master to create polls in Foundry VTT chat. This makes party decisions quick and easy. Instead of having the players debate a choice forever, you can set up a poll after 5 minutes and have the players vote for what choice they want to go with. Just do the following steps. To create a poll, use the P shortcut and a dialog will open for you to set up a poll. You can also use the slash poll chat command following message will become the question while each of the additional lines becomes an answer. Use shift enter to go to a new line when writing a message. Ladies and gentlemen, if you find these four small Foundry T VTT modules useful, then I recommend you give them a try. I posted a link to the modules in the video description below. This is not a sponsored video, I am making this video to help you. If you share our vision of creating amazing interactive adventure games, we have a whole playlist of helpful and awesome Foundry VTT modules in the video description below for your thoughtful consideration. What should we cover next in our videos? Let us know in the comments below. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time.